Yes, welcome back. This is the Touchland, of course. Bernardo Kumu still here with you, and I'm pleased to have Mr. Moses Mbudia, the chairman for the Kenya Volleyball Federation, that's the Beach Volleyball Commission, Kenya Volleyball Federation, is here uh, to talk about the plans for the beach volleyball in the country, a number of tournaments ongoing, and also some of them scheduled later this month. But Karibu Sana, Mr. Mbudia, great to have you again. Thank you, thank you yeah. very much. You must be our regular now, which well, is nice. Well, yes, you know? I'm also impressed by the wealth of knowledge that you have under the gentleman who was sitting here. I am touched by the way you are telling Kenyans matter sports. You're doing a good job. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Anyway, let's talk about the major event, right? Why yes. we are here. It's all about the beach uh, volleyball, wild, the World Beach Volleyball Tour ongoing in, in Burundi. In Bujumbura. Yes. We normally look at the town. Mm -hmm. And uh, the town here is Bunjumbura, mm -hmm. which is the capital city of Burundi. Mm -hmm. And uh, what we have there is the World Beach Volleyball Tour. Mm -hmm. And we have 13 countries participating. Uh -huh. Some of them are the um, countries that you'll talk about, the big eight, uh -huh. Japan, uh -huh. Britain. Uh -huh. We also have Greece. Uh -huh. We have Hungary, uh, to mention but a few. Uh -huh. Then the developing countries, we have Kenya, Burundi, Tanzania, and uh, many other countries in Africa. So uh -huh. in total, we have 13 countries uh -huh. participating in that world tour. Uh -huh. This world tour, you do not only earn uh, points, but also you get good uh, cash when you win. Uh -huh. Yes. Mm -hmm. And yes. When, of what importance is it for Kenya? Remember that we were close to qualifying for the Olympics, but we lost out in Morocco. Now, this should be the next just assignment after yes, that one, right? it starts uh -huh. there because unlike the other games where you wait for the final win, uh -huh. this one you start earning. Uh -huh. You start climbing the ladder as you move on. Uh -huh. And it has just started. Uh -huh. we, have, uh, we have it now. Uh -huh. And the uh, government of Kenya, together with the Kenya Volleyball Federation, decided to um, sponsor eight athletes, uh -huh. and they are already down there. Uh -huh. Some of them did participate in all African games in Accra, Ghana, uh -huh. and they did very well. Uh -huh. The Jairas uh, Makuto, yes. uh, the Jairas and Makuto, and uh -huh. they did very, very well. Uh -huh. Now we have um, the team now there, and including uh, Madam uh, Gaudencia Makoha, but this time around decided to pick on a younger player. And that is uh, Abigail. Uh -huh. Abigail uh -huh. is the girl who went to uh, call it Tobiko uh -huh. and um, Tobacco. Uh -huh. There's a country, small. Uh, Trinidad and Tobago. Girl, you have got in it, right. <laughs> and the girls were number four in the world. <laughs> yes. They were able to beat uh, the That's Great the, Britain. That was the co Youth Commonwealth? Yes. yes, youth, yes. Youth, youth, youth World Games. Youth World Games, and yes. And they were number four. Uh -huh. So one of the girls uh -huh. is doing an exam, uh -huh. but uh, this other one who finished last year uh -huh. has uh, jo joined Gaudencia Makoa. Uh -huh. In a nutshell, uh -huh. The activity going on right now, uh -huh. we have the, the semi-finals going on. Uh -huh. And our boys have just been beaten at uh -huh. the quarter-finals, uh -huh. that is Jairus Makuto. Uh -huh. They've been beaten by German. We are talking of uh, the, the G8. Uh -huh. So we, we, cannot, yeah. we are also not underdogs. And but by the way, they have gone for three sets. Uh -huh. Remember beach volleyball, you only have, you win two sets, uh -huh. you're over. But uh -huh. this one, they have gone three. Uh -huh. So the boys were able to get a set from German. Uh -huh. And to me, that's a big plus. Uh -huh. So we are uh, moving on step by step, uh -huh. hoping that next year, we shall have both the women and men uh -huh. uh, representatives in the World um, Beach Tour. And what are the chances for the women in Burundi, uh, in Bujumbura? Uh, they have also lost it at the uh, quarterfinals. Uh -huh. We are talking about quarterfinals, uh -huh. not preliminary. Yes. Quarterfinals, and uh, out, to yes. me, already they have earned the points. Uh -huh. We are waiting for, in the next one hour, uh -huh. they'll have done the analysis and mm -hmm. they'll give the position uh -huh. and they'll give the 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 points and by each and every team uh -huh. each and every team uh -huh. we're waiting for one hour or so and remember they are one hour behind us yes and so maybe talking about the 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 uh, say the tapping of the talent to mention the la the young lady who was uh, this maybe went to Trinidad and Tobago and really her career has been now up and up. What, what does it say we about the... We are focusing on only zeroing in on uh, beach volleyball. Uh -huh. we, we do not want this transfer from convection of volleyball uh -huh. to uh -huh. the beach volleyball. Those girls have actually been trained to take over from some of these seniors and they have been zeroing in on beach volleyball. If you look at the tours that we have had even in Kenya, last year we had uh, the Malindi uh, Beach Tour. And uh, even this year, mm -hmm. these girls participated and even went to the final. Mm -hmm. Our two tours at Strathmore, the girls again went to the semifinals. And uh, to me, I think we are moving in the right direction. What we need now is men. We start from zero. We lift them up. 
and uh, in future we shall be talking of uh, beach volleyballers. But I have seen it in South Africa, uh -huh. I've seen it in um, uh, Namibia, I've also seen it in Morocco, that uh, those who are also senior players in the confection of volleyball, they participate in beach volleyball. So there is no harm in uh, one being a star in uh, confection of volleyball and turning to beach volleyball. A case yeah. in point yes. is um, our professional volleyballer who is right now in um, one of the countries in Saudi Arabia or uh, Greece, uh -huh. that is uh, Mogheni. Uh -huh. Mogheni did it very well in the last All-African Games in Morocco. Uh -huh. So we have practical examples yes. of both. And maybe I can add one more. Those who took Kenya to its first ever Olympic were were well, regular volleyballers, right? Gaudense and, uh, and, uh, and Agara. And yeah. Agara, yes. yes. They so, were also professional. In fact, Agara was the captain of yeah. the national team for yes. a long, very long time. Uh -huh. yes. And for her, she's now transitioned to... She's now really the overall yes. team manager uh -huh. in Bujumbura. Uh -huh. As we are talking, she's the one in charge of all the athletes and the officials. How relevant is that for former when players to transition into such roles? we are telling them, roles? come, baby, come. I mean, come take over from us. Uh -huh. And that's the way to go. You uh -huh. know, uh, Oduori was the overall uh, coach as he was um, in Morocco. And that, that tells you that we are also ready to transit. Mm -hmm. And uh, to me, that satisfies me. Mm -hmm. yes. yes, indeed. Uh, that's what it, as far as the World Beach Volleyball Tour in Burundi is concerned. So how many posts do they earn? And what, in, that, what, in what position does it leave them when they uh, reach the, they've reached the quarterfinal? So how many points does it good give, uh, leave them in a better place I in terms of earning the points? I tell you that because mm -hmm. there are two championships that you earn very many points. Yes. A case in point is all African games. Uh -huh. This one, it will depend on the total number of teams that have participated. But uh, it's unfortunate that uh, an hour will go before our show ends, and <laughs> so we may not be able to give you. But uh, we shall get them. They'll, they'll do the proper ranking uh -huh. and uh, communicate to both CAVB uh -huh. and FIVB. Yes, indeed. Yes. And also locally next weekend, right? There yes. should be the deep hits. All the roads and the railway lines are leading to Mombasa. We shall be at Big Tree Hotel. And a uh, big salute for Deep Heat. This is the fourth edition that you're giving us. One, they started with the convection of volleyball in Yeri. And uh, the other three now, we've had them in uh, Mombasa. That's the big tree. And uh, I must salute the, um, the MD, who is an MD of Kenya and the whole of East Africa, who is doing it a very a good job, together with Mr. Mashari and Madam Naomi. They have uh, sponsored this uh, tournament now, the tune of about uh, almost one million. <laughs> up to where we are. Uh -huh. And we also did sign uh, an agreement between them, and we said they have to sponsor this for the next three years, uh -huh. at a tune of about 300,000. Uh -huh. One wonders why why 300,000, how is it used? Uh -huh. And uh, in beach volleyball, uh -huh. they you always win cash award. Uh -huh. So we normally set aside about 120,000 uh -huh. for the winners. Uh -huh. The remaining bait is uh, for the logistics, and um, you and I know what I mean. Yes, indeed. Yes. Over 30 clubs, how many clubs are expected? About, last time we had about 30 clubs, and I have already communicated with quite a number of um, team managers. For example, GSU, they're telling me they will have about 10 uh -huh. uh, players come. And uh, last time we had um, Equity Bank giving us about 10. Uh -huh. So it will depend by Wednesday, we shall have proper registration done by Mr. Moringe, Wino, and Uduri, and we shall be able to give you the proper number um by wednesday uh -huh. yes. and of course this is just like a precursor to the local league season next month we have it you know you realize that we finished our league in the month of if you can remember the month of july the month of june Ju i mean the month of june july uh -huh. now august from august we are supposed to have a break of about two months and during this time, we are supposed to capitalize on that as beach volleyballers to ensure that our, our activities are in between. Mm -hmm. Next month, we shall have the team managers meeting, and uh, it will be followed by the first league in Nyeri, that is where we shall have uh, uh, Monene, who is the chairman of the central province, host us, and have the activity start up to the month of June, July. We are following the international calendar. We are following the international calendar, and uh, this way we shall even have it easy now for our uh, three who want to go and participate in the world uh -huh. uh, as professionals. Uh -huh. Remember, we have more than uh, six, seven professionals uh -huh. out there. Mm -hmm. And uh, the aim is to make sure that we uh, correspond with what is happening in the world. Uh -huh. And maybe uh, how better should this season be compared to maybe 
uh, last season. I think you were able to note one thing last time. You came there <laughs> and realized the standard had gone up <laughs> and nobody knew who was to win. Mm -hmm. And for this reason, we want us uh, to be in that kind of situation where we are not aware who is winning uh -huh. because of the standards being very high. Uh -huh. We have the Trailblazer, we have the GSU, we have the Kenya Pipeline, we have uh, Kenya Prison, we have the KPA, we have them, them all. And all these teams are equal to the standard. Remember, you win the league and you book yourself a ticket for the club championship uh -huh. in any part of Africa. Uh -huh. And uh, this has been happening. Uh -huh. Last year, you know very well, um, uh, the team Kenya Prison did it very well. And um, they were not sure whether they were winning because KPA uh -huh. were behind them uh -huh. and uh, GSU were behind them. Uh -huh. So um, I want to answer your question directly that uh, the league will definitely be uplifted a bit. Uh -huh. Cash award will uh -huh. be added. Uh -huh. We gave them 100,000, uh -huh. but next year we promise you uh -huh. that it will not be like that. Uh -huh. the, the, um, the team that is behind under Bitok, that is uh, the team marketing team, they are doing their work to ensure that we have enough award uh -huh. for the league 2025. Are we, are we going to see uh, matches being played in some of the newest venues, let's say in Bombay Beach in Busia County? That touches on uh, beach volleyball. Beach volleyball, unlike uh, convection of volleyball, we do not zero in on uh, gymnasium. Uh -huh. We will outdoor. We need that weed. We need that sun. We uh -huh. need that rain. We uh -huh. need that uh, sand. Uh -huh. And for that reason, uh -huh. we shall be uh, widespread. Uh -huh. Already we have gotten somebody who is telling us that he's going to sponsor us in Muhuru Bay, uh -huh. in, uh, in Homa Bay. Uh -huh. Not Homa Bay, uh -huh. but in Mugo Migori. Uh -huh. Then from there, we are working it out to see whether we can also go to your, your, your hometown. Yes. That is in Bumbe. Yes. And uh, we also visit the Mau Mau, uh, the Mau Mau village there. Yeah. We are very nice sand in the areas in of uh, yes. Chase Bay. Uh -huh. And uh, we did open um, a beach court there. Uh -huh. And uh, we are good to go. We can visit any place, uh -huh. including the shores of Lake Shukana. Uh -huh. yes. Maybe this season? The this season we are targeting one, uh, one in Busia. Uh -huh. Uh, one in Kakamega, uh -huh. the government of Kakamega want to host us in beach volleyball. Uh -huh. We are targeting Muhuru Bay, that is in Migori. Uh -huh. We are targeting uh, the River Kaiti, that uh -huh. is in Makweni. Uh -huh. And of course, next week we are in uh, Mombasa, that is in uh, Big Tree. Uh -huh. And uh, if go, all goes well, again we go to Strathmore University, which has a, a beach court. Uh -huh. And, and uh, they are opening the second one. And maybe Kenya is strewn with rivers all over, but not all of them can host the beach volleyball matches. We have right? some rivers that have got very fine sand. A case in point is River Kaiti. Uh -huh. River Kaiti in Makweni normally transport very fine sand. Unlike uh, other rivers, maybe from central province, they have large boulders because they are in their youthful stage. Uh -huh. But if you look at River Kaiti, uh -huh. it's more or less in the middle stage and uh, the old stage. Uh -huh. So the, um, the work of uh, soil erosion, I mean, uh, erosion has taken place properly. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And that's why we have fine sand in those areas. Uh -huh. In your place, too, uh -huh. in Busia, uh -huh. we have river, the one that keeps on the flooding. River Nzoia. River Nzoia. Uh -huh. If you look at the type, of material, now, the type of material that is deposited, Offshore the liver, you'll mm -hmm. realize that it's very fine sand, mm -hmm. and that calls for establishment of uh -huh. beach volleyball. Yes, and maybe how about the capacity building of coaches as much as the league is expanding? But one weakness that we do have in Kenya is that we only have one referee international, and we are zeroing in on uh, establishment. I mean, uh, coach. I mean, uh, the, the 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 courses for refereeing coaches. We have about fourteen. But now we would like to promote the number of referees. It's only one man. If he is sick, we can be penalized uh -huh. by the continental body for uh -huh. not sending a referee. Uh -huh. It's that bad. Uh -huh. So we are actually, that's a weakness. And I want to see to it that as a chair, that I, before I leave, uh -huh. at least we have very many human, I mean, uh, capacity being uplifted, uh -huh. touching on the referee. Uh -huh. How about the coaches? The coaches it's have told a challenge you as well? they, are good, they are good. Some of them have trained in Hungary. Some of them have trained in East Africa, South Africa, Egypt, Tunisia. And so I do not think that we have shortage of uh, coaches in Matas Beach Volleyball. Uh -huh. yes. And maybe looking at uh, the, how the game has improved, you know, Kenya keeps on knocking at the doors of the, these international events. I want to say I uh, cannot claim to have uh, all the kudos uh, because uh, part of it is owned up by my former chairperson, that is Madame Patricia Scott, who passed on last year. 
And uh, to tell you the truth, this year we didn't do very well. Uh -huh. We didn't do it very well in Accra, Ghana. We didn't do it uh, well in uh, Tw uh, Tw uh, Twatan in uh, Morocco. Uh -huh. But uh, this year, part of this year and next year, we are hoping that we are going to improve on what we didn't do well. Uh -huh. Remember, we had qualified for World Championship last year. Uh -huh. We went to Italy. This uh -huh. time we shall not because we did not qualify. Uh -huh. So there's a weakness this year, but we are going to work on it uh -huh. and we're going to improve. Yes, indeed. Yes. And, and maybe um, looking at the experiences that the Kenyan players are going to get, especially at, this, the, at the Wild Beach Volleyball Tour in, in uh, Bujumbura. I have just How called the you, head coach uh -huh. and uh, he's uh, telling me, when we must thank the government for what they did the Kenya Volleyball Federation and uh, the um, exposure uh -huh. they have gotten them beating German uh -huh. one set uh -huh. that to us is a plus uh -huh. German is a powerhouse you know it uh -huh. we met them also in Italy uh, that is uh, in Rome and um, they are a powerhouse Japan is a powerhouse Canada is a powerhouse Greece is a powerhouse uh, Hungary is a powerhouse and meeting them at that level that tells you if we meet them in world championship now we shall have no fear we shall beat them uh -huh. in game. Uh -huh. yes. Countries that are doing good and Kenya looks up to them? Brazil, uh -huh. Japan, uh -huh. German, Canada. Uh, we also have uh, Finland. And uh, that's why some of our girls have gone to play professional. Like uh, Pamela now, uh -huh. the, the girl of Kenya Pipeline yes, is no longer yes, with us. Yes. She's now going to um, uh, Finland uh -huh. where she's playing professional. Not forgetting Serbia, not Zambia, uh -huh. but Serbia. <laughs> <laughs> Zambia is just a upper, yes, upper yes. chin. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, um, so um, the big event coming up is the Deep Heat Beach Volleyball Tour. Yes. That's next weekend. And I must at this point in time invite everyone uh, down coast. I must thank the Ministry of uh, Department of Tourism in uh, Mombasa County, who have also said they're going to support us because the, the event is in their region. And they have said they will support us with the tents and the shares in that area. And I must salute the minister together with the governor, the deputy governor, and uh, Mr. Ali, who has been our connector between those uh, forces that I've talked about. So we expect the event. Despite the fact that where we have the event, mm -hmm. there is an artificial river, there is an intermittent river uh -huh. that keeps flowing, uh -huh. but we are going to flow with it uh -huh. and make sure that the beach volleyball takes shape. Thank you so much, yes. Mr. Moses Mbuida, for gracing the touch once again. Thank you. Karibu Tena, Asante. come and tell us about what's going on, because that's an, a public office, so people have a right to know. Exactly. Yes. Why not? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> the Wild Beach Volleyball Tour on going in uh, Bujumbura and of course the two Kenyan teams this has mentioned the did reach the quarter final and well done to them up next will be the deep heat beach volleyball tour coming up next week in Mombasa then that will be uh, like uh, opening it up for the new season for the beach volleyball league season right and across, will be played across the country all the best, Mr. Ambudia. Thank you. And, and all the best you. to KVF as well. Asante, Sam. Yes. Okay. Up next is the fan zone. And it is uh, Makaemba as well as uh, Tiras Wayaki and yours truly. So stay tuned on Touchline. Shows.